is an inevitable end for all mortals. No one that the scripture in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 noted that there is a time for everything under the surface of the earth, a time to love and a time to mourn, a time to live and a time to die. For Christians, death is described as a transition to eternal life, and that is why we are urged to mourn, not as people without hope, but as a people who understands what a believer's death means and must be prepared at all times. For late Mrs. Rosalind Norma Ademora, her transition began on April the 22nd of a protracted illness. The words on the lips of everyone who came to pay their last respects to the deceased on Saturday, May the 16th, was simply peacemaker and hospitable. The attributes of the virtuous woman of Proverbs 31. Little wonder personalities from all works of life came from far and near to honor her for the last time and to sympathize with the family. At the funeral service held at the Holy Family Catholic Church Izombe, Oguta local government area of Imo State, the officiating priest, Reverend Father Oka in his homily, described Jesus as the resurrection and the life, while reminding Christians that that is a necessary end which everyone must be prepared for at all times. The priest eulogized the late Rosalind Ademora, whom he said he never met, but read through the life of her first son, Emmanuel Ademora, adding that reading her tributes, he felt he met her before her demise, but consoled himself in the fact that she lived a life whose legacy speaks even in death. <laughs> Why? Jesus in the very simple form. I am the resurrection. I am the life. This was followed by the reading of the biography by her first daughter, Mrs. Ukeji Emilinya, where she described her not just loving but devoted, creative, and simply virtuous. Everything my mom touched turns to gold. One could wonder, with her little education, how could she do so many business? But funny enough, she was very good with numbers and figures and did very, very well in her flourishing businesses with very little assistance. She managed her home with ease and was so clean that all, her, all our nuclear and extended families that lived with us have till date kept clean homes. Thus was followed by interment at the husband's compound, where the priest prayed God grants the soul of the diseased eternal rest as she was committed to Mother Earth. The reception, which was held at Amaburodere Primary School, Izombe, had in attendance friends of the family. Reverend Don Odonze, Pastor Dixon Okorafo, Reverend Uchume, among others, who were at the event, took time to remind everyone present that that is a necessary end for all, while urging them to turn a new leaf to inherit God's kingdom if their time comes. Evangelist Cornelius Benjamin also treated the guests with songs. One day the same way you gather for mama, others will gather for you. That is inevitable. And you don't have Jesus in your life. Let's become condemnation. Man like John, man like all the apostles, everyone, they use death like a vehicle to go. When death knocks on your door, may death be judgment for you or will death be a vehicle for you? Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So any life that is void of the fear of God, any life that is void of adherence to the instructions of the word of God, is a waste of divine attention. will always be with us if we do.
The children of the deceased have this to say about their mother. My mom was a great woman. We have said it in the tribute. Uh, those of us who have been here at this occasion knows that we expressed it. Everybody, the crowd you see here today is an indication of how great my mom was. Her life was pretty short, 64 years. But it was 64 years that was the grinding. Grandma, she was a very loving woman. She always used to advise me and my brothers friendly with each other because whenever she's around and she hears us arguing with each other or fighting, she will call us home, she will advise us, she will pray for all of us. Whenever I want to continue doing that, I want to help her also pray for my brothers and give them advice that she always is Friends also had kind words of encouragement and prayers for the family. Mama said they should stay in peace. God has already given them the comfort. Let them work to keep unity. It's costly. Somebody should pay the price. God will comfort them. But let them sustain the comfort. The Lord is their strength. God should give the man of the house the strength to bear this irreparable loss. She's a great woman. She died well. And she's been celebrated even at such a young age. We thank God for everything. Born 64 years ago, late Mrs. Rosalyn Noma Adumora is survived by her husband, Mr. Christopher Adumora, three daughters and two sons, among whom is Reverend Emmanuel Adumora of Mega Harvest Ministries and host of other relatives. May God grant her soul eternal rest. <laughs> Nora Okafor, MCL News.